What's up, everybody? It's John Morgan. Listen, I want to come to y'all and tell y'all right now where you can go and get your LYP merch, www.lypp.org. That's where you can get all the fly crew necks like the one I got on right now. You're going to get your hoodies, your hats, any type of product that we sell in that LYP, you have to go to the website to get it. You can't go to Amazon or no, no third-party company to get our products. You got to go to www.lypp.org right now to get all of this latest stuff lyp you can also get information on the pod new information on the episodes that we got dropping anything lyp related go to that website right now lypp.org peace I wanted to get the full play. Hold on. Catching up to me. I still can't even slow down on exotic or codeine. These niggas ain't do whatever for the cheese. It's a storm coming for them painted days. Draw the ghost for the umbrella. Make it rain on me. Cause it ain't a thing to me. No, this ain't the same money. But I'm still the same. I know they hate I found a way. They just ride waves. And these niggas can't walk a mile in these easy ways. This dude, uh, Benji Mims. He talented too, man. Is it which is it, is it is it a lane that you love more than the other? You love music more than you like creating like clothes and shit? Man, they go hand in hand for real to me. Like you can't have music without fashion. No, that's a fact. No, I can't say I love one more than the other. It's one I'm well, I can't even say it's one that I'm better at. It's one that I perfect my craft more, I can say that for sure. Which one you feel like you perfected more sure. clothes? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. But I got both of them at the crib, so it's like I can do the devour whenever. You good, real? Welcome everybody to another episode of the Leo Purpose Podcast. What you just heard right there is from our guests, our guests Lamont and Benji Mims. Man, listen, I've been wanting to sit down with this dude. For a minute, man. Matter of fact, last time I seen him, I said, man, quit running from me, man. We, we kind of laughed about it, but it was, you know, everything is really in, the, in divine timing, man. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have him here, man. You know, to have glad his to energy to really, you know, just listen to his story. Um, and really, you know, hear, hear this guy's brain, man, because this dude is an all-around creator, man. And if you don't know, now you know, man. We got Mr. Argaris Lamont sitting down with us right now. What's going Dudes, on? Dudes, what's the deal, what's man? On? How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling good, man. Thank you, thank you for being here, bro. Thank, Thanks thank, for having me. Yeah, no, no, no problem, man. I'm, I'm really, um, I'm, I'm looking forward, man, to really hearing your story, bro. Um, and really, you know, what I'm saying, talk about what you got going on creatively and shit, man. Cause one thing that, like, one thing about the stuff that you do, bro, it is very powerful. Like, it's unique. Like, you know, what I'm saying, people can't. One on one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts <laughs> and facts. <laughs> bingo, yeah. bingo. Uh, so I, I want to, you know, I want to pick your brain a little bit on that side. But like, before we get into that, man, genuinely, bro, like, how are you? Like, you know, what I'm saying, I like asking people how they doing for real, not yeah. just service level. Like, how are you in this season of life, bro? Spiritually, mentally, like, how are you, genuinely? Man, bro? I'm growing for sure. Okay. Like, that's how I am right now. It's like I want to learn something every day. Like, I'm, what's the word? Like, I'm. Itching for just more, like more mentally, spiritually, like you know, creatively, everything for real. That's where I'm at. I love, I love that word. It's just it's constant evolution, right? It's, yeah, it's, for sure. It's for constant. Sure. It's it's con it's constant growth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's 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 good, man. You know, because with that, man, we able to you know evolve into who we really supposed to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's so so, so that's dope, man. Listen, let's, bro. I want to start at the beginning, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? The beginning of dudes. Like you know what I'm saying? Like who? When you reflect on coming up, man, in this city, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you think about being a young dude growing up, what mm-hmm. you, what stands out to you, bro? Like, what what, what was childhood like for you, man? Like what's, your, what's your memories and experiences that really stand out to you being a young dude? 
Man, I was acting out till I was in high school, <laughs> for real. Shit, my freshman year of high school, I got into some trouble at school and really, like, had, like, an epiphany, like, man, is this really what I want to be? Like, you know what I'm saying? But after that, I realized, like, look, you got a future, like, for real, so you got to stop playing with these niggas out here. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to stop playing with your life, really. Yeah. So, but growing up in the inner city, man, it's like, shit, either rap or go to the league. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or trap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know what I'm saying? I chose go to the league. Mm -hmm. And I pursued that. I made it all the way to D1 college. I, I got awards, all types of shit. I made it to the league, yeah. actually. Yeah. I ain't yeah, going to yeah, you, you know did. what I'm saying? You did. You did. You, you were one percenter, bro. Yeah, you, for you, sure, you for one, sure. You were one percenter. You oh, yeah. achieved a dream that many of us never get a chance to see, bro. Man. You know what I'm saying? So that, that, yeah. that's Sometimes that's I, I forget that. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just because yeah. I ain't had a, as long of a run in the league, like, but like you said, I am still a one percenter. Like. When did you, man, when did you realize that, like, when did you realize that you was, like, gifted athletically in, in sports? Like, when did you know that, now, nah, I'm not just good, I'm nice. Like, I'm better than the rest of these niggas out here that I'm going man, against. It had to be, I forget how old I was. Might have been 18, for real. Mm. We played the Central Warriors. This dude, he was like, I'm probably 10, 8. He like 17, though. He's scoring every time. We going back to back to back to back to back. Wait, he was 17, man. 18, man. Cut it out, bro. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. <laughs> what? Super Warriors. You know? <laughs> what, nah, man? He was like Deion Sanders out there. <laughs> like. But, yeah, that's really when I was like, man, hold on. I kept up with this grown man out here. Like, I knew he was too good to be true. Like, he was doing some shit I ain't never did. So, yeah. I'm like, but, yeah, that's probably when for real. And. Before that, that's when I knew, like, all right, I got a chance at this. Yeah. Before that, it, I was just always faster than everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, that's really what it was, like, mm -hmm. just being fast. Ever since I started running track, that's when I'm like, oh, hold on. You had, nat you had natural speed. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's going to set you apart. If you're faster than everybody, <laughs> bro, that's going to set you apart. especially with the football field. Oh, yeah, facts. And it was fun, so it was like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. taking it back, like... If I was to do it all over again, like, it's like, I felt like when I was a kid, playing football or sports was the only way that I can live the lifestyle that I wanted to live. Like, yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? Facts. 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 That's, that's, a, that's 100%. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man, my dreams early as I can remember, bro, was like, was sports. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it was for, you know, being, being a young dude, man, and just like, you know, Sports was the way, you know. So that, that was that was that was our that was our vision of like what success really looked like. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like that was our that was our ticket of like not only making some bread, but it was the way of like you know really establishing ourselves to help our families and shit. And like you know, hey man, it, it was something that we knew early that we had some success in. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Like when I listen when I played. I was always good. I wasn't necessarily the best dude on the team, but I knew that I had some talent no, and some athletic. Cold, I mean, you feel me? Yeah, I was cold. Hey, hey, I appreciate it. I, I, I appreciate it, but I, I, I had my run, you know what I'm saying? But, but for, for sure, man, that was a – sports was something that, um, for me personally, bro, that was something that I, I connected my identity to, mm -hmm. right? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's who I see myself to be. Right. You feel me? Like – that's how people knew me, you know what I'm saying? Sure, being, sure. being a hooper playing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Funny, man. It was this dude talking to him and shit. Somebody say Deucey, like, and I'm just <laughs> talking to him. I'm talking to him like, and he just I just noticed that he don't, he don't know I'm Deucey. Like. Mm. He like, man, I ain't never seen you outside the football helmet. That's when I was like, man, fuck this shit. I really see as this dude in the football helmet. And you was you was in high school or you was in college? When was this? This was, when it happened, this was after all of it. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? But the creative Ducey or our Garrison Lamar or whatever, he always been there. Like, it's just, this was the only way that I could really, really for real, it was like, I just got to keep doing it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I made it this far. Like, why stop now? Like, you know, I got free schooling. So that was a plus. You know, I learned a lot. I traveled a lot. Built a lot of great relationships, so I ain't going to football. 
it was a blessing, but it also, I ain't gonna say it was a curse, but it left scars. Like, you know what I'm saying? That I'm still battling to this day. So it's like. On the, on the physical side? No, I'm not. Well, like hell yeah, on the physical side. My <laughs> back be hurt like a yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, like, on the mental side, it's like, man, like, I just feel, like, behind just how fast I elevated being Argaris Lamont, like, you know what I'm saying, off the humbug to some people, like, but to me, it's always been, I'm always, always been a critical thinker and all that. It's like, man, if I would have been doing this my whole, since high school, dog, I probably, you know, but you can't really think like that. Yeah, you can't, you, 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 you can't, but it's. But it's easy to, to think, think like that. And, yeah. and, bro, sometimes I be thinking about, I think sometimes that's the, gir- the curse of being an athlete. Uh-huh. Because athletically, bro, you know that, or right, if I put this work in, if I do this, if I train, like there are steps that you can follow that you know you're going to get certain results. Yeah, for right? sure. But creatively, bro, <laughs> it don't work like that. You know man. what I'm saying? And really, in life, it really don't work like that, man. Stuff really just happens as it's supposed to. You know, so we don't like we don't have that much time. control over shit as much mm-hmm. as we think we do. You know, you know what I'm saying? A, a lot of times, so that's so that's deep, man. I, I feel what you're saying, man. Tell me about like, man, what did you learn about yourself, man, as as the, as the young dude in through this pandemic, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? The the world flipped upside down. It changed. We was forced man, to sit learned, down for a minute. What you learned about yourself? I bro? really learned that. If you practice and like, you really just practice and practice and really just stay in your lane and just practice and find your purpose really like, that's what I found my purpose in the pandemic. Yeah. Like, I create, when I create something, it don't even gotta be closed. Like, I got a job, but I hate it when I'm not creating at my job. But it's mm. a lot of times that I am able to create. Like, even if it's creating the way the store look or rearranging the tile section, like, you know, but, and you just gotta go hard for real, harder, go harder. I really got complacent in the pandemic too, cause it's like, it was a lot of free money getting thrown at me and, <laughs> yeah. I, and I'm new said. to it too. So it's like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really, I start dropping t-shirts. Like, I don't even like dropping t-shirts for real. Cause I'm not ham, I'm not creating them to me. Like I might, find a nice little quote or something online and put it on there, but I'm not hands on with it and mm. making nothing into this. Like, and that's like where I'm most fulfilled at. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That, that's dope, man. Who was the first person, bro, to spark the brain and like your creativity, like your earliest memory of like when you realize that, nah, I like, I like creating stuff. I like, you know, I, I, it's, it's, it's in me. Man. What, what, was there some person that, like, sparked it in you, or do you just remember it kind of just... It being... really was probably my dad, for real. Because, like, he had Mason. Like, he'd been a bricklayer since forever. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we were right past. He'd be like, man, I built that. Like, or I made that. It'd be whole ranking or something. Like, hell no. Like, but my mom creative as hell, too. It's just in me, for real. Like, they don't really show it like that, but I'm starting to learn, like, if they could have, like, I don't want to say this because she might watch it, but <laughs> she wish she could be, not me, but know you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, yeah. back then, had, had like. some of the opportunities uh-huh. and just went exactly. at things the way that you tried to know about them. Yeah. I just, the other day, she was at home making a, a flyer, like, a fire flyer. I'm like, what the hell? Like, when you <laughs> start making flyers, right. like, why yeah. you ain't making you no flyer? Like, she's like, boy, I've been making flyers since all them New York trips back mm. in the day, like. Mm. And she always used to be fresh, like, on the party side. Like, all her and her girlfriends used to get custom outfits and shit. Like, so it was just like... So it's, 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 it's always been in you, and it's man, always been with you since the beginning. Sure. I, people in high school know I always said I wanted to be a fashion designer. Really, like, man? Yeah, hell yeah. For sure. Man, that's, that's, that's so dope, man, because um, I, I, like, I always like asking people the question of, like, you know, when, when the creativity stuff was, was sparked in them. Because a lot of people have said things like you, which is, man, it's always been in me. You know, my parents have, have sparked things in me. And my story is not like that. Like, I didn't necessarily see myself as being a creator until my adult years. Like, when I really started this podcast and really, like, you know what I'm saying, got into the business side of things. You know what I'm saying? But I, but it, it took a lot of, like, learning myself. But what I also realized is that 
Man, my mother was a creator. Man. My mother was super fly. Like she would just put put shit on like easy. She would be able to look at something and know what it was supposed to look like. Whether that was clothes, whether that was like interior design, mm-hmm. she just knew how stuff was supposed to look. Man. And I, but I didn't I didn't know necessarily think of her as being a creator. But I, I had it right there happening mm-hmm. in my face, but it, you, I didn't really it's understand like that. Then it really wasn't a thing. Like it's like you a creator, like they ain't getting paid shit. Bingo, like, bingo. This ain't no, ain't no opportunity. In it's this. a, it's like, a dream. Uh-huh. It's, 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 a, it's a dream type of thing, for which sure. you know. Listen for, you know, our parents coming up in the age of which they did, bro. If it didn't have no money attached to it, they had no paycheck attached to it. <laughs> Man. That shit ain't real. Uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? That, out work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Mm-hmm. So man, like, talk, talk to me, bro. Like you, you, you had a successful hell of a, of a high school career. That's how I first got introduced to you. <laughs> we went to the same high school, but you were a little bit younger than me. Mm-hmm. And I never forget just being like in my early 20s. And they like, man, listen. Y'all got to come see this little dude, Deucey, up here going crazy. Right. Because because also, I went to school with DeLon. Shout out to DeLon. And, like, um, it was a history of Copley having real good running backs. Hell yeah. They so still do. For that's, real. That's, 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 so that's, that's a fact. So, mm-hmm. you was always known as he the next one. Mm-hmm. And so, when I heard about your name and I went up there seeing you, I forgot who y'all played. But you had, like, six touchdowns. He went crazy. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. This little nigga nice for real. <laughs> But you, yeah. man, you had a you had a successful high school career, a successful college career. Mm-hmm. Um, tried your stint in the league, like you said, it didn't pan out the way that you may have wanted it. But man, you still made, made it. it right you, sure. you know what I'm saying? Talk to me a little bit, bro, about like the process of being successful, hitting the highest level uh, of of a sport, and especially a sport a sport as brutal as football, bro. Mm-hmm. That ain't no little shit. Like, right. talk to me about like what it took for you to hit it. But also, you know, um, when it just it it changed for you, like you know, what I'm saying you you knew that it was gonna have to be some other things you had to look think about. Uh, I would say when it changed, cause all right, so I tried out for the league for two years, like you know, what I'm saying it two was years, two years training, uh-huh. mm-hmm. trying to make a team, right? Mm-hmm. But I ain't even graduated yet. You feel me? So mm-hmm. it's like, oh, you left school early. No, not early, just the semester, because, okay. like, it was, like, I had pro day, and I'm, like, I'm about to go train for this <laughs> yeah, pro day, right. like. Fuck like the school this, shit, yeah. Exactly, like, <laughs> So, Facts. you feel me? Luckily, um, my coach, he let me go back to school, like, after them, uh, well, the first year, I was just straight off, straight training, but then the next year, I was just going to school and training and finding myself, I had my own apartment, like, that's really when I found like or Garris Lamont. Mm. It's so crazy because I knew I wanted to do clothes, but I'm like, man, I don't I really hate getting put in a box. Like I don't even like getting called a fashion designer because I design other things as well. Like I can design people, like you know what I'm saying? I can design, you know, graphic designs if I really want to. It's just I just wish like a visionary was an occupation because like <laughs> I really look at stuff and be like, oh, yeah, that's cool, but it'd be 10 times better if you do, 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 or, you know, take some and make it into some shorts. Like, people say, man, I never think, how you make the kitchen curtains into some shorts? But, you know, it's 2022, NFTs out here, and the world is about to, Mm -hmm. man, creation Mm -hmm. is about to go crazy. Yeah. Anything, if you can't create nothing, you better... Quit playing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. So, so you was, so you was saying, man, you was, you was trying to, you was, you was working out training, trying to, um, trying to make it to the, you, you was working out training, trying out for the league for two, two years, uh-huh. right? I, and so, I went back. To, all right, let me go back. Okay, Just go ahead. All that. <laughs> <laughs> you good? You good? I went back though, and I, that's when I really took like marketing classes and like I took some real estate classes. That's, I took classes that I wanted to take mm-hmm. like the whole time. It's hard, like, for real, finding yourself when you good at something at such a young age. And it's like, oh, yeah, like, this is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to do. You're so good at, like. And it just got to the point where, well, when I got to college, it was a lot of politics. Like, you know, it's politics in every aspect of the game. But that's when it's like, all right, now, the best players obviously don't play in this game. It's, like, it's, it's big business uh-huh. when, you, when, you get, when you get to D1 college, man. Mm-hmm. So it, the politics are even at a higher level. Yeah, so it's like, I just, I was just thinking to myself one day, like, what 
can I do that's like got the less, least amount of politics in it like that I would enjoy doing and it's like creating ain't no politics in creating I mean it might be when it comes to people buying it but making it and getting for that fulfillment for yourself like ain't nothing like it for real yeah, because you got, you got control over it. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Don't, don't nobody else got no say so in, in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can take as much time, take as little time, exactly. call your own shots. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to depend on nobody necessarily. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's that, that that's strong, man. So, like, you, you said, man, you found your you found our Gears Lamont in that in that college, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a apartment. Mm -hmm. Like, was it was it a moment? Like, was it a... What what was what was the moment that hit you like nah this is this is what I gotta do and this is why I gotta do it? Uh, was it was it? Was, I wouldn't say it was like a moment. Like it was just really more so pulling it all out. Like mm. I just been this football player like my whole life, and it's like how like what type of creation do I really want to do? Because. Mm. I'm about to start getting it into uh, table making. So mm. it's like, that's... Cause that's I can, Yeah, it's like, it's, I done tried so many things. I done bought cameras, bought studio equipment, and it's like, I just get bored with creating clothes sometimes. I want to go create a video. Mm. Or I want to go create, you know, a table. So it's like, creating is just so vague. It's, it's, it just helped you free. It helped me free my mind. No, that's 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 so real, man. That, that that that's super real. And you said something that was powerful. You said, man, when you good at something, when you so good at something so early, it's hard to like find, find yourself. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Is is it because that people was putting pressure on you for like, listen, you good at this, you need to keep doing this? Was it that, or were you wrestling with your own thoughts of like, I'm succeeding at this, why wouldn't I keep doing it? What was it for you? It was a little bit of both, like you know. I heard, uh, you know, family members like, oh, you still gonna give me that car? Like, but it was, I knew I was good too, and I knew I was gonna get a free college education. I really knew I was gonna make it to the league for real, and that's the whole thing. Like, a lot of football players, they be so confident in themselves. I mean, as you should be, like, you know what I'm saying? If mm -hmm. I wasn't, like, I'm gonna make it to the league, like, I'm about to go to college, I'm about to make it to the league, I probably would have never made it. Right. But it's something that's, it stuck with me to this day. I uh, I was talking to somebody in college, like, and I said, man, I don't want to be the best wide receiver in the world. Like, I just want to, like, you feel me? I just want to play football. Like, I said something like that. Like, thinking back on it, it's like, if I don't want to be the best football player in the world, I probably won't make it that far in the league anyway. Mm, mm, mm. But I, all right, what you about to No, 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 I'm, I'm, no, I'm okay. listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. But... I have told myself I want to be the best designer like in the world and meant it. So it's, it got to the point where I wasn't even getting excited when I scored touchdowns. Like, damn. And like people would like, be I'm just like, like, it's it is, it like you know what I'm saying? I've been doing this, this is what I'm supposed to do. Like I'm just gonna keep doing it. How um, many, how many, um, how many other dudes you think is experiencing that same thing and going through that same thing on the football field. They in it, they good, but it ain't it ain't it ain't the passion in it in it no more. Man, a lot of them for real, especially yeah, probably a lot of them. Like they ain't they ain't wasn't never no time to find themselves, especially if you make it to the D one level. Like you already probably was good when you was eight. Like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> And you only see yourself as a football player thus far, bro. I couldn't. I I, I couldn't imagine um, what it was like transitioning from a D one player who made it to the highest level, a professional level, in a field, and then you have to figure something else out. When I was eighteen, nineteen, after finishing high school. I, I knew that I wasn't going to school to play sports. And that was the first time that, like, bro, I wasn't going to be training the hoop. I wasn't going to be playing no summer league. I wasn't going to be preparing for the upcoming season. Bro, I ain't know what the hell to do, bro. Man. Like, I didn't – there was no – there was no real preparation for that. You know what I'm saying? Being a young dude, mm -hmm. thrown into the world at 18, 19, a baby. Right. And, like, you know, 
again, how I identify myself was through this through this sport, and it was just gone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't, you know, so be, because of that, bro, like, I lost myself in a lot of ways, man. You know, through partying, through kicking it with chicks and just doing any and everything. Like, you know, I lost I lost, I lost my way. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't know who I was during right. those times. So, man, I can only imagine how much of a blow and how, like, hard that is, man, making it to the league mm-hmm. and that having to, you know, have, having to be. Was it, was that a hard, like, Pivot for you to make? Like, was it a hard pill to swallow? Like, man. I mean, I always, like, had the mindset, like, man, I can do anything. Like, I never really made. I can see if I made it to the league, made hella bread real quick, and then didn't. And then it's like, hold on. Like, but it was <laughs> yeah. like, I never really saw nothing from okay. football other than the free education. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like, fuck this shit. Like, you yeah. know what I'm about to go be this now. Yeah. So. It wasn't really a hard pill to swallow because I never really watched football in the first place. Like I know, I never was like, oh, it's Sunday, like let's go watch the game, like or let's what's the college. I never really, I lived it, so it's like I don't want to live it and then watch it. I'm trying to free my mind from this. Like, yeah, yeah. So it really, it was hard when I was still around it. Yeah. Like being at school, but then when I left school, like I never watched it anyway. But just still being around old teammates and. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I had to stay in my apartment. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, right. I ain't trying to see y'all. Right. I don't right. want to go right. to the facility. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you ain't want to deal with what come with that uh-huh. shit. You, don't, you, you, you doing your, you making your own steps. Bruh. So was it, what, did you did you experience pushback from people close to you? Like, bro, you tripping. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you're you not seeing it clearly. Like, was it, was, it, was it pushback or did you get a lot of support in what you was doing? With what? Going back to school? With, or... With, Deciding to like walk away from the game. It's like it wasn't really. I ain't really talked to nobody anyway. Like when I was in college, so it was like ain't nobody know what they I ain't was even doing. Know. Like they ain't even know when I can move back to Ohio or nothing. So it's like I ain't really ain't get no pushback. Like my mom just wanted me to get a job. Like you know, she happy with whatever I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's some people that still tell me like you know man you you was so cold like, you supposed to be in the league like I said in. Uh, Man, I got this bar. I said, I said they'd be like, do see you the goat. You supposed to be in that league. I said, but I was in it for the pros, so that ain't really how it seemed. <laughs> I can't see myself losing my soul for a spot on the team. It wasn't skill. They know I still touch down every time I receive. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, you talking. <laughs> yeah, you talking. Yeah, so like that was probably the really shit I never wrote, honestly. Man, that's 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 so real, bro. Because um. What I what I hear you talking about, bro, is like it's it's being it's really being connected to God in a way, bro. Cause like you you have a clear vision on what you supposed to be doing with your life. And it's like it's your life, it's your story. Yeah. So like can't nobody else project their own fears and insecurities on what you got going on. Cause they ain't they ain't in your shoes, man. You know what I'm saying? And so for you to like have a little level of like awareness and confidence to say, I'm not going to even tell nobody what I'm doing. I'm going to just make my move. Cause this is, this is, you know, this is who I am. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is, this is what I'm here for. You know that's how you know it's really you too. That's a fact. That, like, that, that's a fact. It's you when you don't got no outside. Like my mom ain't even know. She knew I was, I was a fashion designer, but she ain't really know I was our garrison month. So she came to my fashion show and was mm. like, hold the fuck up. Like, no, this isn't even nice. This shit crazy yeah. for real. Like, yeah. so, and I'm still surprising her. Like, I don't know how many times I got it. And I'm only, get, I just started. I ain't know how to sew until 2019, probably. Well, I sold them pillows back in Copley. Like, you right, know, back. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I knew how to work it. Like, right, facts. <laughs> but I ain't really know how to make a shirt until like 2019. Yeah. So, man, like, what was the, um, after after you after you walk away from the game, right, and you say, you know, I'm gonna lean into myself. I'm gonna, you know, lean into being a creator. You know, what was the what was the first things you start? Well, first off, had you been creating things the whole time while you was while you was playing ball? Uh, the most I was really, yeah, I ain't really had a time for real. The most I was creating my drip on the on game day, like okay. that was probably it. And yeah. I always like dressing different, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so I'm creating looks like. 
that's probably about it. I ain't had But no like time p- to pieces do. and artwork uh-huh. and stuff and music and stuff, you ain't really had no time to do so. so the, my, when I went back, yeah, for sure. Okay, okay. That, that year I went back, uh-huh, I was rapping it. Really? Everything. That's yeah. when you, that's when you start going hard with the create when you right. when you end up going uh-huh. back. Yeah, that's dope. So what was the what was the um what was the the path of creativity you le- leaned into? Was it was it the music or was it the fashion? It was music and um one of my old teammates, his name Renard Sharin, like he he really a big like just seeing him his junior his sophomore year he hurt his spine so he couldn't play no more but he still was on scholarship because he was cold, like, you know what I'm saying? But long story short, he, his junior and senior year, he wasn't even going to classes no more, still getting A's on all the <laughs> finals and stuff. But he in L.A. shooting. He shoot young, every video that's yeah. damn near, every video, like, on my mama. Mm. Thug, Gunna, mm-hmm. everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he just started in fucking on asking, like, damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, shit. that's really when I learned. Like, he a videographer though, but he had the mic in his room and everything. That shit was. That's when I was like, oh yeah, it's real. Yeah, yeah. like cause he had a hundred thousand as a junior. Like views and shit. Or no, you his dollars. Oh like, shit, bro, shit. Bro, oh, junior, yeah. and he ain't going to class no more. He shooting weddings and shooting music videos for. What, what year is this? This was 2018. So the internet going crazy this time. YouTube is crazy. Social yeah. media is crazy this time. So it's and that's man, that's what's yeah. so that's what's so wild, man. It's it I'm not gonna say it's easy, but it's possible to really make bread in this damn era that wasn't the same back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Even when I was a teenager, it just wasn't the same like that, man. Yeah. What, what it is now. You know what I'm saying? So that's when you seen it. Like oh no, this is real. Man, like, you know what I'm saying? You can get you real. can get you can get bread. You can create and do things your own your own type of way. Because mm-hmm, I knew they had music videos, and I knew somebody was making them, shooting them, and, and creating like, them. You know what I'm saying? But it's like I ain't know they was you know doing it like this. But man, what's your what's your uh, what's your creative process look like? Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you when you want to get into your bag, like you know what I'm saying? What's 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 it look like? Man, it depends on which bag I want to get into. Because like I said, if I want to just, if I really want to make something from scratch, like I'm going to go get the fabric, you know, I'm going to put it down, look at it, like and really look at it first and decide what type of whatever I want to make. And then from there, I really just draw it on the fabric, like or outline one of my favorite pieces of clothing, cut it out, sew it back together. Like I used to rush, but... I'm starting to take my time take and time. really see the results. And it's like, man, I'm really talented at this. Like, cause like, it's a lot of stuff that I don't understand, like why people can't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like people say, they, like, I can't sew, I can't sew and shit. But I'm like, how, like, how can't you sew? Or like, I don't understand. I used to couldn't understand how people could run fast. Like, <laughs> like how can't you run fast? Like, just move your body faster, bro. Like, <laughs> exactly. Like, <laughs> You just gotta put it on there. But you got, but you got gifts though. You got, yeah. you got, you got, you got natural gifts that a lot of people don't yeah, don't I have. Learn how to appreciate them more. <laughs> Cause I be down on myself like a motherfucker. Really, man. Uh huh. Yeah, that's that, that's that's that that's real, man. Like you know, what I'm saying you said that it 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 looks differently, um, de- depending on what bag you get in, bro. Like you said, you said some, you said, man, I'm gonna make tables and shit. Like you yeah. know, what I'm saying that's how does your mind even go to is it? Do you look at it from the standpoint like, all right, I see something, I like it, I want to do something, I'm just gonna tr- throw my hat in it? Like, mm-hmm. how you had the confidence in the, you know what I'm saying, the balls to say, bruh, yeah, I make clothes, I do music, but now nah, I want to create, a t- I want to create furniture and shit too. Like that's yeah, just cause it's like I get bored with stuff easy. Like it's only so much you can do making clothes and it's only mm-hmm. so much you can do making music. Mm-hmm. It's only so much you can do making tables mm-hmm. and furniture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like I don't know how to explain it for real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just know I can create whatever if I really want to. Right, yeah, for sure, for sure. Getting yeah, no, all that's man, dog, I, I got so much I got so much respect, you know what I'm saying, for you as a creator, bro, because like again, I didn't always think of myself 
as a creative because I didn't know what creativity looked like. And you said the great word early. You said, man, creativity is so vague. It's so gray. Like it ain't, I was always a black and white thinker. I thought that shit was either this or it's that. And I thought that I didn't have the creativity, but I was misunderstanding of what creativity was. Yeah. So somebody like yourself, man, who, who's able to like really see the, you know, the, the fullness of, of creativity, you know what I'm saying, from a bunch of different landscapes, bro, that's hard. And that shows a lot of like confidence and a lot of just like, you know, that, that shows a lot of just guts. Like, you know what I'm saying? People don't it's be having a lot that of shit. Vision. That like, too. That's what it is. Like, I. I'm a visionary. Like I said, that ain't no occupation. You don't really get paid for being a visionary, or I ain't got paid for being a visionary. Yeah, yet. yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. But that's what it is. I see something, and I it's just something about it. I just see something else in it, though, something way better, and it always turn out yeah. how I think it do. Man, you said, you said, I asked you earlier off mic, I said, man, which one do you enjoy more, making music or the clothes? Um, you said, you know, you good at you good at both of them. Like, is there... Is there one that, that serves a better purpose, or is there one like... It's one, it's like, it's hard, like, trying to rap about creating, like, mm. but that's what I want to rap about, like, feel me, like, or, like, get fresh, like, it's only so much you can say about getting fresh, like... Before you can say everything. Yeah, like, so it's like, either that or finding a new genre or something, but making music and listening to music and fashion, like, like I said, they go hand in hand for sure. Yeah, no, that that that's dope, man. Who was your um, who was your inspirations, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Who was your inspirations, creative wise, bro? Creative wise. Yeah, like somebody that you really like. You like, nah, they they, they get it. Like uh, they 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 do it right. Virgil for sure. Okay. Because you rest know I peace. went to um yeah rest in peace. I went to Northern Illinois. He from Rockford. Illinois. Oh, see, I didn't even know that. That's like. 40 minutes away from where I went to school at. So he was a big thing and when I was in college. Like, but yeah, him, uh, other than that, creatively, I guess I really can't say nobody for real because I don't, I don't really think about too much other shit when it comes to creating, but what do I see? What do I see? Like, I don't be like, what would so-and-so see? Like, I think about what do I see and how can I make it? You seen the um? You seen the Yay Doc yet? Nope, I heard about it though. You ain't seen none of it. I ain't seen none of it. So I haven't. I haven't finished it. I seen the first one. Um, but one thing that I seen from him is what you know. I'm kind of hearing it from you as well. Is that like, man, Kanye always had a vision for what he knew to be true about what was right for him, and like, although a bunch of people around him didn't see it, they didn't understand it. Man. He stood on what he knew was gonna be true. And this 20 years ago, like he was in there, bro, he rap he rapping college dropout to people and they like, get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, but and this college it's dropout and this yay. And this and this is yay, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. man, when I when I hear you talk about, you know, being a visionary, bro, and like, you know, um seeing things clearly and having vision and having like clear, clear direction on what you're doing, you know. These are the, that, that's some of the stuff that I hear, you know, that's some of the, you know, the, the same stuff that I hear, you know what I'm saying, the same type of shit that, that Ye was talking about. Like, I think, because I was, I was late to social media, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? I just, I literally just got on social media two years ago when I created this podcast, when I started my own mm -hmm. business and shit. Um, and then from there, when I start following and whatnot, I'm like, oh, no, like, bro is really... In, in his bag, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the, the music, the fashion. But, bro, it wasn't, you said, you said I ain't even like putting out T-shirts. Like, you know what I'm saying? But you, but you did it. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I noticed that you was doing was like, nah, bro is taking pieces and putting, making clothes together. It just ain't just no screen print shit on T-shirts, which ain't nothing wrong with that as, as well. You know, that's a level of creativity too. But you was doing stuff that was, that was out of, out of, out of the box. Like, you know what I'm saying? Is it, when you do create, are you always thinking of doing things that are out of the box? Are you always thinking about, no, like, I got to do really, shit that people ain't doing? Like Sometimes I think of, like, man, what they ain't doing, but what's me too, though? Like, because I ain't going to do no weird ass shit just because I'm trying to prove a point or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, that's big. That's so, big. 
Yeah, I just like my girl always be saying shit like like you making pants for somebody like stop making shit you would wear like but I'm like shit that's how I got you feel me that's our girl Samma so it's like it's a great area right there but that's why like, why is that important why is it important to like you know create things that that is true to you why like why is that why is that important for people to know to like create what's true to you and what's real to you why is that important because it's like. If it ain't true to you, then like we'll do it mean for real. Like, I don't know if it's, if I made something that I ain't really fuck with and I seen anytime I seen it, I'd be like, Ugh, man, like I ain't really I done told people like uh, give me the like I'm gonna make you a whole new pair. Like I don't <laughs> fuck with them. That was back then when I'm way better now. Like but Yeah, for sure. That was and, and see and, and that's that's what I was leading up to, like, bro, you be having intention. That piece, man, that piece I got a lot of backlash from that piece. Really, it was man. like, not backlash, but it was like, people, they was like, you promoting it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't see it as I'm promoting it. Like, the shirt say racism is a poison. Like, who want to be poison? It ain't got a big-ass swastika on it. Mm, but mm. it's like, the simple fact that it did have a swastika on it, like, people weren't fucking with it. Or, like, you know? Yeah, I know. That's the, that's the whole point. Starting conversation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't seen nothing like that. Like, when I wear my cowboy boots, they be like, man, who, is, who this nigga think he is? <laughs> but that's a, you feel me? That's, step, that's me getting recognized. Like, that's one step closer to where I want to be. But even with the, the racism as a poison shirt and shit, like, that started during the, that started during the protests. Like, right? Yeah, that, that, that was started, right, perfect time. It was right, it was uh -huh. right around the George, George Floyd. No, this one was the George Floyd. The oh, first okay. shirt I made was, uh... Just had our Garrison Lamont on it, big red yeah. letters, and mm -hmm. had a, a hand. That was, that was George, that was George, yeah, right around George yeah, Floyd. Yeah. So the racism is a poison that came. That was the next season. Uh -huh. I actually dropped two, like that first shirt, and then I dropped the racism is poison. I sold out all of them, but it was like, I wasn't, I'm, I'm too busy trying to sell these shirts. I can't even create no more, like, and that's what's really, that's what really makes me happy, like, you know, so it was like, Fuck these shirts! Like I'm about to start making jeans. Like that's when I really like. People probably don't know. Michael Mary, quote unquote, hand stitched all his own jeans. Like that's a lot of jeans. And he ain't... <laughs> you call it cap? <laughs> yeah, like but so that's just tweaky though. Yeah. If he do do that. He a he a, he a beast, especially yeah. if he got a social life. Right, right. Yeah, no, that's um. That, that, that's powerful, man. I Listen, people always ask me all the time, bro. They're like, man, what's the criteria for, like, you know, wanting to have people on your podcast? And I was just telling, you know, the guests I had on before you, I said, listen, I like to see people put intentionality into their work, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like to see people that's, like, doing something with a purpose. You, you feel me? So, like, These niggas you know, ain't hustling with a... What? Yeah, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's because... Because, bro, like, we talk, we talking about business, we talking about creativity, bro, but purposeful work, bro, you really, it's, it's something higher connected to that, man. It's something mm -hmm. bigger than just me and you sitting here talking. Like, you know what I'm saying? People going to have real important conversations about your work. When I had these conversations, like, the key, the thought is, man, somebody going to learn something from this shit. You feel me? Like, somebody going to get some game. Like, damn, like, the shit that John was talking about or whoever he was talking about. Man, that really helped what I was going through. You know what I'm saying? So, I, that's the thing that I always loved about your creativity, bro. Like, even your videos, bro. Like, I, I can't, I can't think of the name of the video, but it was the one where you had, you said, "I'm one of this, uh, Clico <laughs> sipping ass Clico. nigga." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that you one, wish that, I would have played that, that, that song. That's, that shit was hard, out. bro. That shit, that shit was hard. Yeah. But and I direct, like I directed that video. Like. And but what stood out to me was, man, it was, it was creative, bro. Like yeah. it was, it was intentionality in that. Like you know what I'm saying from the from the Clico placement to the name of the song being Clico to the different shots and the angles that you was doing, I'm like, no, nah, bro, really be like, he really be thinking through his process. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's the shit that I really fuck with it, you know what I'm saying, in, 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 in your work. Man, it's, um, you got like, are there any young dudes or just young people who try to tap in with you about like, you know, maybe getting some game from you or like, you know, maybe, you know, share some of the, the gems and stuff that you, that you got along the, along the way? Uh, I feel like it's a couple people who ask me to teach them how to sew. Okay. But then I also feel like it's a lot of people who don't really understand it yet. Like, <laughs> you feel me? Because mm -hmm. 
they still called me a fashion designer, but it's like, I don't even, like I told you, I don't even see myself as that. Like, I can help you out, like, but I really rather make something for you or, like, create. Like, it's just, it's tweaky for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about, what about, like, mentors and shit? Do you have anybody that pour into you? Man, no. Bro, all this is me, bro. I keep myself happy, motivated, like, you know what I'm saying? Confident, so it's, do you want one? Do you, do you wish you had, oh, yeah, you wish you had sure. some? Yeah, yeah, I be needing some advice sometimes, like, from the right people. Yeah. And I don't know, I be so in my like, own lane, like, I don't even be thinking to reach out for real sometimes. So it's like. Man, what's the, um, what's the vision for our, our, our Gears Lamont? You said you, you called yourself a visionary a couple times, which I agree with. Like, what's the. What's the long-term vision that you know what I'm saying? The long-term you... vision that I see myself having is like, I, I'll, it's creation. Like, creation never stops. Like, I can't even tell you what's the vision, like, until I create it. Real shit. Is there, um, is there a lane that you haven't tapped into yet that you want, want to? Animation, for sure. That's hard. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's hard. Man, yeah, animation and 3D rendering and stuff like that. Man, I, I asked you this. I asked you just a minute ago, like, you know, who, who you, uh, who was your inspirations? Is it anybody like musically? You know what I'm saying? Is it anybody like? Musically, Nip, yeah. Okay. He just, you know, he Nip taught me in high school, like, be yourself. Like, it don't matter if you think it's cool or not. Like, when you true to yourself, like, you gonna win. Like, you know, him. Wiz, you feel me? That's why I started burning. Wiz a legend. <laughs> like, Wiz, you know, Wiz a legend, him man. Him being himself. Yeah, like, Wiz a legend. Yeah, Wiz a legend. Wayne. Just all the trendsetters, for real, and the stand-up guys in the rap game, for real, I said. Who, who is somebody that that you may be inspired by, bro, and you think they don't necessarily get their shine, but they but they cold? Somebody that's like, maybe it's music-wise, maybe it's fashion-wise. Somebody that's like really doing it, and but you know, but the rest of the world may not know. Shit, it's a whole bunch for real, man. It's a lot of artists, you know? And it's like, it depends. Like, if you if you talk about mainstream or you talking about both. I'm, talk, I'm, I'm talking about mainstream, even some people from the city. I was like, about to say, it's people like, you know, Eli, Benji, Queez, uh, man. What's this? This is the name, Peach Curls, man. I just went to this little show. Mm -hmm. Dog, him, uh, it's, I know so many artists, like, and I don't see them ever, like, so it's like, a lot of people probably slip in my mind, but, yeah, I just really don't be around nobody to even think about nobody else. Is, that. is, what's the, um, what's the plan and the goal for music? Is it to, you know, keep growing your music and, you know, keep putting it out? Is music ther therapeutic really? for you? Like, what's your... Yeah, I'll say it's therapeutic, okay. for real, because... As you can tell, I don't really talk a lot. So mm. it's like when I get a chance, that's really when I can get a chance to pour shit out or what's on my mind. Other than that, I I can't talk to my sewing machine. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's like... I mean, you can. I shit. can, yeah, but, right. but no, I see what you're saying. I see, I see what you're saying. So, but uh, with music, like I said, I just like rapping. For real, I always rap before I probably... No, not before I played football, but I definitely had a song when I was in the fourth grade. With Tez and I'm a nigga Gator and B Rod, but RIP my guys. But yeah, man, with music, it's just another way to push the fashion. Okay. Like, if I'm if I'm having a music video, I'm wearing everything our girls Lamont for sure. And it's like just another way to push our girls Lamont, another way to create. Like I said, the video guy who shot Cleco, A4L, he like, man, this was the easiest video I ever had to mm. do, because he ain't had to do that for the shit. camera, <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah. bro, we gonna do this, I'm gonna play basketball, like, I'm gonna drink the Cleco, we gonna get my dad real quick. Yeah. And he was like, we was in and out in like 25 minutes. So the, so the music is, the music is like, it's the marketing campaign for the overall brand of, of our gear uh, to the music. I don't even know. It's just all like the music and fashion go hand in hand, like yeah. I said. Yeah, they do. So I'm still trying to find a way to rap about what I really want to rap about and to leave a message. Like, that's really why I got hella songs I ain't dropped yet, but it's just because like half of them 
it's me rapping about shit that I don't really care about and it ain't no real message to it to that I want to give to the world. Mm. Behind our Gareth the Mont. Mm. So So what I mean, what's some what's some stuff that you It's just like shit like I smoke every day, but I don't you would never see me smoking on Instagram, like so I don't even want to rap about weed because my purpose to me is to create and inspire, like, and I know it's kids out there that look up to me. And they follow me on Instagram. They they'll miss the message. They'll they'll, yeah, they'll like, miss the message. Oh, see you burn. Smoke, yeah. Or yeah. like, oh, he said he said this is the song. Like, that's cool. But that's because I was Ducey before I was Argar Samant, and I still got that role model. I guess you want to call it mentality. I, no, I, know I never mean. lost it. Yeah, right? I, know, I know what you mean. That shit. That's listen, bro. I, I, I feel I feel the same way, man. Even. Even even doing this pod, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? I sit down and try to have real real good conversations with people. But before doing this, bro, I was a social worker working in the schools. Mm -hmm. So, like, some of my earlier episodes when I was doing this shit, I wasn't cussing nothing because I still was Mr. John to the students right. and shit. You feel me? So, but I still, it, it, was, it was me just kind of looking at it from the standpoint, like, man, I know that I want to have a message and I want to, you know, help people, you know what I'm saying, with what I'm doing. But, but... We got to be true to yeah, ourselves. Sure. You, feel, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because if we ain't being true, then it ain't going to... I'm still... You still young. You still I'm growing still and figuring out. out. Like, yeah, 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 like yeah. I said, yeah, I yeah. couldn't do nothing because I was, the, you feel me, captain on the football team. I can't even smell like it. You know, I can't <laughs> do nothing. I yeah. got to be this. I got to yeah, sit yeah, up yeah. straight. Like, I'm on camera <laughs> today. Day. I'm still coming out of my shell for real. Yeah. I'm not all the way there yet. Yeah, yeah. Man, is there... um? Is there is there is there anything that like is there anything creatively that you really want to do but you may be a little hesitant maybe you got some fear around it but you really want to do it maybe it's the animation No I would not say I got fear around it <clears throat> cuz it's like why why I be scared if I ain't never did it before but right. uh shit this table for real cuz that shit is not ex that shit is not cheap Epoxy is not cheap or the live edge tables. It, it ain't no cheap practice. So it's like, I might have to spend twenty five, two thousand 2000 on materials. Mm. You feel me? The table, if it do sell, could sell for seven or something mm -hmm. like that. But mm -hmm. if I fuck it up, like, you know what I'm saying? You can't take it up. two bands down. <laughs> gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I ain't, you feel me, got it like that. So it's like, every, every investment to me sometimes is is a fear because it's like mm. I gotta still work, you feel me, to get it back before it come back. Like you know what I'm saying? Cause I still gotta live a life, but I didn't spent it all like a few times. Like you know what I'm saying? It always come back, but it's just that whole period of like, damn, like every day, like I gotta get it, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. It's fearful until you know that you can, and it's like then it's whatever. Like it's life after that, for real. Do you think everybody is a creator? Yeah. They just don't know. They ain't found their purpose. For sure. Because you got to think, without creation, the world would have ended a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. For real. You're right. I, li I, I like that, too, because I agree. And what I say is, is that, listen, man, we all extensions of the creator. You feel me? Like, we all, we all are just extension... Extensions of the 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 great the greater divine God Allah whatever you see we are all extensions of that you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so if we come from the Creator themselves why wouldn't we all be creators exactly. you, you feel me and like you said earlier man creativity is is, is vague it's, it's broad there is it's a spectrum mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying so it's I, shit that ain't even been created yet so it's like it's so tricky that's why when you ask me like where I see myself like I was like I don't know I'm like. I don't know for real, man. Man, listen, man. <laughs> you you are you are a unique dude, man. And I I I, I love the work that you're doing, bro. Um, I I love I I love I love the the risk that you take, man. I love the the you know the 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 chances that you take with not only your creations, man, but just with like, man, putting yourself out there. You know, what I'm saying to the world, man, and like you know putting. Putting your sharing your creativity with the world, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because people don't understand how vulnerable it, it takes to be creative. 
what I'm saying? You pouring yeah. your soul and your spirit into this shit uh-huh. for people to judge it, buy it, whatever. Right. And like, people will be dismissive of that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't understand what it goes into sewing and making a damn table. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not just, <laughs> right. the, not just the money either. I'm talking about the brain power, the, you know, yeah. the amount of energy that you pour into that, man. So like, I have a firm respect for you know for the work that you're doing man and I, I believe that the things that you want for yourself man is is, is you 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 it's only a matter of time man mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying um I asked you this all off camera too man I want I want you to tell me this man before before we get on out of here man like what have you learned about yourself through from being but being a father man like you know what I'm saying what has fatherhood taught you about our Garris Lamont Man, that I was lazy as fuck. <laughs> for real, I can't even lie. I was super lazy, for mm, real. Mm. That's one thing. And, well, obviously, me saying that I was lazy, I can go away yeah. harder. Like, mm-hmm. you know? Because I got to now. Mm-hmm. Before, I was doing everything for me. Like, I'm waking up trying to, you know what I'm saying, make a way for me. Like, now I got a son. He got my name, too. So, it's like, it's way different. Yeah. I don't, it's a lot of shit I don't give a fuck about. What's something that you um? What's something that you want to teach your son that maybe you didn't learn or you learned later? Shit, like I said, shit that sports is ain't the only way to make you feel me a million dollars. Like for real, there's way many, there's so many ways out there, and that's one thing I never get a chance to learn until I had to find myself mm. by myself. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, listen, man, or Garrett Lamont, bro, I appreciate you doing this, man. You know, it's been a long time coming, bro. You know, I'm glad you sat down with me, man. For sure, for sure, man. You know what I'm saying? We've been, been looking at doing this for a minute, bro. You got to, you you have a lot of a lot of gifts to share with the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, continue to see you do that, man. I appreciate you coming down here to do this. Um, Before we get out of here, man, I got some rapid questions I want to hit you with, man. That's then you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we, we let, get, get, wait till get, I drink all the water. Yeah, yeah, you got the rapid questions. God damn it. I'm going to get you out of here quick, man. I ain't going to do what you up, like man? that, man. Uh, Listen, we in the in a new year, bro, 2022. What's your, what's your intentions for, for, the, for this year? Like, the year 2022, what you want to be intentional about? Uh, What you mean by, like, what you mean? Like, so... When I think when I think of intentions, I'm thinking about like you know what type of energy you want to put out there, what type of you know what type of work you want to do, what you maybe you, some things you want to do with you know your, your son, your lady, like you know what I'm saying, just some things that you really want to make sure that you do and that you put effort into doing. Growing, like just growing. Like I said, I feel like I was stalemated a lot, damn near shit. Till I was, what did I, when I graduated and find myself, I feel like that whole time, mm. it wasn't a waste because of the, the reasons I said previously, but as far as growth, what did help me grow too? It's like I'm still fighting it. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I sound scatterbrained because no, I don't you. even like talking about it for real. Yeah. So that's why I try to get off of it, but then I want to talk about it. So, yeah, next question. Yeah, no, I'm with, I'm, 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 I'm with you. Um, What's a what's a what's a weakness or something that you may struggle with that you you know want want to work on? It happened to ask like before I really make it my own decision. Like you know what I'm saying? I always want to be like you think this like, so, like second you guessing yourself this? almost. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Stand, standing on what you already know and just yeah. But then it's so crazy because sometimes they're gonna tell me I'm gonna be like I mean, hell no. Like but sometimes I do listen to them. But more times than not, when you don't listen to them, you ain't gonna have no regrets. So yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you on that. Um, what's your purpose, bro? And and how was that connected to the work you're doing today? Like I said, shit, create and inspire, for real. And just creating is just like I, I said it a bunch of times. Just creating. Life don't evolve without creation. And as far as inspiring, I just want to inspire people to find the creator in them mm-hmm. because everybody is a creator. Like, you just don't know what it is. Music, you creating music, you know, beats, you you creating, uh, not, let me see what you creating. Cause it's, it's a word, but I don't know what the word is. Shit, I mean, not really purpose, like you creating 
you created me to open up more today. Like, mm, for mm. sure, you creating. So let me, let me help you out. I try to create safe spaces for people for to sure. be able, for people to be able so, to share, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah, that's 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 real. Uh -huh. that, 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 that's 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 a fact. I, I, I like I like that. Um, man, what what scares you? Man, failure. Everybody always say failure. Well, it don't really scare me, but it's like I was up here and I failed. Like what scared me is getting way, 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 way back up there and then just getting a little taste of it again. Mm. Like, not really failing, but just nah, starting over, like from scratch and having to reinvent myself again because that was probably the hardest thing I ever had to do. Mm. Mm. For sure. Yeah, no, that that's deep. I, I like that. Um, what what's the best advice you ever received? Yeah, stay true. Real. I don't remember who said that, but stay true. On the flip side, what's the worst advice you ever received? <laughs> stay true. <laughs> For real, because listen, no, it's so no, no, tweaky. No, 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 no. You talking. I'm with you. I'm, like, I'm with you. I'm with you. No, go ahead. Break it down. Go ahead. All right, so stay true on the, on the best advice. Like, mm -hmm. Stay true to the cause. Like, stay true to your purpose. If you know your purpose, like, you know, stay true to yourself always, but then stay true on the worst advice. That's like people keep telling me to keep going, working out, keep trying out for the league and I keep doing it, but I'm miserable. Like, so yeah, that's crazy. So that depends, out so like depends that. On, yeah, it depends on who it's <laughs> coming from almost. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. That, that's good. Um, what's the one question that you ask yourself the most? Mm, why you doing this? Mm, mm. Okay, all right. Um, if you could give everybody, if, if, you, if you could make everybody do one thing, one practice, no matter what it would be in the world, what would you make them do? If they had to do one thing every day, what would it be? Shit, survive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Shit. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, that one. That's, that's nah, 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 nah. I mean, shit. Because okay. I mean, you know, listen. There is no life without survival. You, yeah. know, you know what I'm saying? There, 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 there is nothing. You know, without self-preservation, bro. So I, I get that completely. Last one, man. What's your, uh, what's your, what's your favorite quote, man? Um, favorite quote, man. Favorite lyric, favorite quote, maybe it's a bar that you spit, maybe it's something you heard from Nip. Man, we ain't gonna know who gonna make it to the tide come in. Mm, okay, I like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that, man. That's deep, man. Nip. Yeah, <laughs> Nip, 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 Nipsey Hustle, man. Rest in peace, man. Listen, last thing, bro, last question, or the last thing I need you to do, I need you to pull one of these intention cards. I want you to read the principle, and I want you to read the definition. Right. Please, you can pull any one. Cut the deck. Do whatever you want, brother. Mm. Oh. All right, self-determination. Okay. The intention cards are connected. No, this one right oh, Okay, here. cool, That's cool. all right. Mm -hmm. The Gunzo Saba explains self-def... And Guzo Saba. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Guzo Saba uh -huh. explains explains self-determination as to define ourselves... Name ourselves, create for ourselves, and speak for ourselves. That's power. Tell me about that. What that, yeah. what that, what that mean to you? What, what's that? Why is that powerful to you? Because I said all this already. Mm, yeah, you did. Podcast. You had. You had. That, that's that's wild. That you pulled uh -huh. a card. Yeah, that's that's good, man. Yeah, that's tweaky. Listen, man. Where can where can people find you, bro? Where can they where, where can they shop with you? Where can they what can they be expecting coming up soon? Uh, right the now, music, the creative, like what you what you what you putting out, man? How can people tap in with you? Right now, it's kind of like I'm I don't want to overwhelm myself in one lane. Like I'm about to be working on this table, so you know, like if you don't know how to get in touch with me right now, I really. Like I said, I'm doing this shit myself. I'm hand making it. That's why I like doing it. Like I can't make a hundred pair of jeans in two weeks. Like <laughs> so, it's like I'm just letting time work itself out. And like everything, I gotta get a a team as far as designers go. Like if I really want to get to where I'm at, like I need a. It's called a, I think atelier. What's that? 
Just like a seamstress, somebody okay. cut out the fabric, okay. somebody stitch it, like a dude to draw it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Listen, man, I want to I want to see this table, man, when you done, bro, because that's that's hard. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never I ain't never heard of no dude that I know making <laughs> tables, man. I think that that's fire, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You tapping into to that mm-hmm. level of creativity, bro. I, I I respect it 100%, man. Again, man, I thank you for sitting down with me, bro. Um, this is this has been dope, man. I, I uh, if there's anything that I can do, you know what I'm saying, um, to to help you along your vision, you know, whatever, man. I, I want you, I want you to let me know, man. Don't let this this conversation on this podcast, man, be the last oh, time no, that, that we talk for, sure, for real, man. You know what I'm saying? I wanna I wanna you know be able to. To help where I, to where to where I can, man, for, mm-hmm. for sure, man. Because I, I love I love what you're doing, bro, for, for real. Um, listen, man, another episode of LYP. Appreciate y'all. Remember one thing for sure, two things for certain. It's beauty in the struggle, my boy. For sure. Peace. <laughs>